that police pursuit came to an end here in northwest Fort Dodge as the suspect slammed his vehicle into this foundation right behind me. And we've learned tonight that the only reason officers were able to track down this suspect is because of a good Samaritan who saw the crime unfold and immediately alerted officers. What was supposed to be a simple stop and citation at 7th and Hawkeye Avenue turned into a high speed chase. One mile into the pursuit, the 17 year old behind the wheel crashed into the city owned property. Tire tracks and damage to the foundation still visible tonight. Take a look at these pictures taken this morning, just moments after the collision. The vehicle sits dangling over the edge inside an 18 and 12 year old passenger. The driver got out of the vehicle and took off. But before police could see where the suspect fled to, he was definitely in a hurry. I mean, he was hot footing it. Sean George was there at the right place at the right time. He came around the house, tucked into the back side of the building, cops pulled in. George showed the responding officer exactly which house the driver darted inside. Encountered a young man's mother, and she. Uh, pushed the officer, wasn't going to let him in the home. His mother, 38 year old Tawana Goley, now faces charges of assault and interference with official acts. Police did arrest the 17 year old who was found hiding out in the basement. This is a job that we cannot do without their help. We, we need their eyes, their ears. Giving credit to this volunteer firefighter for helping nab their suspect. If I was a cop, I'd like the extra help, you know, and they're a uh... They, they don't get the help they need. The 17-year-old driver facing multiple charges tonight, including traffic offenses, child endangerment, and eluding law enforcement. In Fort Dodge, Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.